I'm back for another video, and there's nothing that's going to be terribly new in here about the Rad Power controller upgrade, but I do want to clarify some things, answer some questions, and yes, this is the 2019 version. I know it's 2020, but hey, so we were running a little behind. but that actually has a functioning tail light. We don't, we clearly don't need that sticker on there anymore. A couple of other updates. The gray thousand watt bike that's over there, I did a video on that a couple of weeks ago and they sold out, which is a good problem to have, but not the greatest timing because of the coronavirus, yes, that is a real thing in China, and yes, that is delaying certain products. That did delay the Rad Power Upgrade controller because there are certain manufacturers in China that were shut down because of the virus, and they are delayed getting started back up. So thankfully, there are a bunch of those bikes either already built or assembled or waiting to be shipped overseas, but they're not here yet. So. For those who, that are looking for an update on those bikes, when are they gonna be back in stock? We're shooting for April, so I know that's still almost a month away, but as soon as I have a firm delivery date, I will put those back online for a pre-order so you can get them while they're hot and possibly with a little discount too. Now, the Bolton 24 inch and 26 inch fat bikes, people have been asking me about those for a long time as well. Thankfully, those actually shipped just before the Chinese New Year. And as I stand here today, I know what day the next batch of these are going to arrive and it's very, very soon. So if you've been on the waiting list for when those bikes come back in stock, it's gonna be very, very soon. So please pay attention. Now the Fat Mini and the Step Through bikes also been selling well, but we do have plenty of those in inventory still, thankfully. So don't worry if you're looking at one of those, you can order one and have it shipped right out. Now, back to what I'm here for, which is the Rad Power controller upgrade. 35 amp controller upgrade and color display for the Rad Power bikes. Now, there have been a lot of questions through emails and phone calls, the website, YouTube channel, everything about these upgrades and which bikes do they work on, how do they work, what does it do for top speed. So I want to take some time in this video to try and answer all of those questions. So first let's start with the easy ones. Which bikes does it work on? Which bikes was it made for? So this is designed for the 2019 versions of the Rad Rover but it will work on all of the prior years. You're just gonna have an extra taillight plug that you don't need to use. Now, I've had a few people ask me about the Rad Rover 5, kind of the 2020 versions. The answer about, is it compatible? I don't know yet. I haven't actually seen one of the newest Rad Rovers in person, so I can't say for sure if the controller would work on those. If they didn't make any changes between 2019 and 2020, on the bikes, then it should work. But if they made any changes at all, who knows? So the verdict is still out on that. I just need to get my hands on one and test it. So if any of you watching have a Rad Rover 5 and happen to be close to the Grass Valley area and want a good deal on one of these controllers when they are in stock, uh, please reach out to me and we can do a test on it and see what happens. The only one that I have tested it on personally is the Rad Rover. I've had people use it on the Rad Mini, on the Rad City, and the Rad Wagon, all of those bikes with good success. There are some little things here and there to be aware of. 2018 Rad Mini, I don't know which particular bikes, if it was a certain batch or what it is, but every once in a while somebody wants to put it on a 2018 Rad Mini and they find that their bike has a different battery plug than all of the other Rad Power bikes. I don't know why. I don't know if it was all of those bikes in a certain period or just a few of them, but just be aware that if you have a 2018 Rad Mini, there's a chance your battery connector could be different. Now, if you wanna check, just go on my website, look at the photos of the connectors, see if it matches up to what you have on your bike. 
If it doesn't, then be aware that yes, it could still work, but you'd have to change the battery connector. Unfortunately, it's not a plug and play upgrade at that point. Now for the Rad City and the Rad Wagon, it does plug right into those and people have reported back to me that it's working. They may have to adjust some settings because they're using a direct drive motor, whereas the Rad Rover and the Rad Mini use this geared hub motor. So definitely a few setting changes there to make it work properly. Um, but people have said that yes, it does in fact work. I can't, I haven't tested it, so I can't give you any feedback on exactly what the right settings are. You'd have to reach out to other uh, people who have those bikes and have done the upgrade to get those answers. Now, the other thing people have asked me on that note is about a motor upgrade for the Rad City and for the Rad Wagon because they want a bigger direct drive motor. And I'll be honest, we have made some of those in the past. And by this point in time, I thought we'd be a little further on, uh, but because of things that happened overseas, we're a little bit behind on some of the, the new product development stuff I thought would be launching now-ish. So I am working on a 1500 watt direct drive motor upgrade for the Rad City and the Rad Wagon, and I do have people asking for that. So I don't have a firm lead time on it, I don't have a date, I don't have a price, I don't have any of those details for you, other than yes, we can make it, and yes, it is coming. What does the Rad Power Upgrade Kit actually do? Obviously it's designed for these bikes. This is not something that's sponsored or connected to Rad Power in any way. This is an aftermarket part, you are kind of on your own as far as warranty on the bike. I just want to make that totally clear. Now I, however, of course, will warranty the controller and the display for a year. So if you have any problems with those parts being put on, I will replace them. Not going to cost you anything. Now the controller. So that is the main, that's kind of like the brains of the operation on a bike. That's what determines how many amps are going to the motor. And the stock controller is a little bit on the small side and it has a very slow soft start and some of those things just can't be changed or adjusted now like i said that's that's the brains often people think of the the screen as what's controlling everything all the screen does is display what's going on down there so here's the advanced menu we can change the speed limit we can change the tire diameter That'd probably be more about 28 be right. You can change from miles per hour to kilometers, Fahrenheit, Celsius. Uh, P1, that's a motor setting. That's something that would be different with one of those direct drive motors on the Rad City or the Rad Wagon. Uh, you're gonna change the pedal assist settings, battery settings. Uh, C5 is maximum power. So at 35 amps, and 48 volts. Just multiply those two numbers together and that will give you an idea of how many watts this bike will put out and it's a lot more than 750. Now going back through those settings, uh, like I said, there's other settings for the pedal assist. Uh, there is a cruise control function on there. Uh, just some extra stuff that normally you don't have access to. And then the display itself, you have a rough idea of your battery gauge up in the corner. You actually have a battery voltage, which is very handy. It's more accurate to give you an idea of how much range you have left, and it's very useful for troubleshooting. The temperature right here, that is just the ambient temperature that's not actually connected to the motor or anything like that. So it's 64 degrees outside right now. Now on the left, you have the pedal assist, which is zero, and then one through five and that is programmable. So you can adjust those settings a bit. The throttle, you can have it so it works on zero, or you can have it so the throttle is inactive on zero and doesn't work till you hit one. You could have it so the throttle is connected to the pedal assist setting. So if you're on five, it gives you full power. Four, the throttle gives you a little bit less. Or you can just have it so it works all the time, gives you full power whenever you want it. Now other things you have are miles per hour right in the middle and you have the wattage down in the bottom left corner how many watts you're actually drawing and then you have time total time distance and odometer one thing that's different from the stock display is that if you have a basically your trip meter set so you're riding this bike uh, say to the store 
you turn the bike off, then back on, can then continue to ride. The trip meter stays until you reset it, whereas the stock display loses how many miles you've gone. And I've seen a few people complain about that here and there. That's one thing that it does differently. I've had a few people ask if it has a clock, and sorry, no, it doesn't. It does, however, have a USB port, which is tucked in on the side right here. So if you want an extra place to charge in a, an extra headlight or your phone or something, you can do that from that USB port just for extra power right there. So that's kind of a, a rundown of what is on the display. You do have average speed and maximum speed as well. But what does it do for power? Is this going to increase your top speed? And let me be totally clear on this one. I do not advertise and I do not expect that this upgrade kit will increase the top speed of your bike. That's not what it's designed to do. Now you can remove the speed limit. So could it make your bike go a little bit faster? Possibly, but that's not what it's made for. So the higher the voltage goes, the more RPMs you can get out of the motor. Because we're not changing the battery, we're not increasing the voltage, we're not increasing the RPMs, we're not increasing how many miles per hour the bike will go. That being said, we are adding amps on this specific controller, so you are upping the wattage. So if you are counting your top speed up a hill, then absolutely it's gonna go faster uphill. Now does this use more power and is your range going to decrease? Well, if you use the extra power, then yes, it has to come from somewhere. So if you use the extra power that the controller, the controller can provide, you're going to lose range. If you don't use the extra power, which is one of the great things about the screen, you could actually program it to only run 750 watts, then it's not gonna use any more power than the stock controller that was on here to begin with. Now the tail light functions just like it would stock. The headlight, turning that on is a little bit different. So let me turn the, the light on. Normally on the stock parts, you would hold these two buttons together. With the aftermarket parts here, you're gonna hold just the up button to turn on the lights. You get a little light symbol there. Of course, you get the headlight to come on and then the tail light comes on as well. And then if you squeeze the brake light, then the brake light comes on. And if the lights are off, the tail light goes off, but you still have the brake function. We'll start shipping in April. They're online at boltonebikes.com, available for pre-order now. If you need the version for a 2018 bike or prior, or if you don't care about losing your tail light function, I do have upgrade kits in stock that don't have the tail light for a discounted price. So that's the older version. They're still available. You can still buy them, but if you want the tail light, then you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. And just for the fun of it, for one of the people who comments, just let me know if you have a Rad Power bike. And if you do, I'll pick somebody at random from the comments to win one of these new 2019 controller upgrades for free. We'll just send it to you because I can't give away the bike because this is kind of like my test mule and I'm using it, but I gotta give something away. Hear about those discounts and specials. You have to make sure to go check that out. As always, make sure to hit that like button. It's good for YouTube. They love it when you hit the like button. I love it when you hit the like button and you'll like it when you hit the like button. And make sure to hit that subscribe so you can come back for more videos. So I hope that answers all of your questions on this. I've got to get back to work.